It's Food and Wine Talk. With Carol Kotkin. And Simon Diamond. This program is brought to you by Whole Foods Market. More of the good stuff for less than you think. I'm Simon Diamond. Uh, Carlos Moro, president and founder of Mata Romera Group of Wineries, is the largest landowner in Castilla y Leon, Spain. With over a thousand hectares of agricultural land, 500 of which are vineyards in the most prestigious DO denomination of origin appellation, Ribera del Duero, Toro, Rueda, and Sigales, this is not only the largest family owned operation. Carlos Moro has developed a company with a full range of grape related products that's at the forefront of the most advanced technology in sustainability, recycling, protection of the environment, and more. Carlos Moro, a technical agricultural engineer by trade with diplomas, uh, agricultural engineer, business administration, is also a doctor of enology and viticulture and a master in communications technology. So, to make it short, he is a high-flying dreamer with his feet well grounded in the land of his forefathers. He's in the U.S. to show the premium wines of his seven wineries and talk about the creative satellite industries he has developed. Matamora is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. Welcome to Food and Wine Talk, Carlos Moro. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here in Miami, in Florida. Uh, Mr. Morrow, you have designed each and every one of the seven wineries you have as eco-efficient buildings that keep in mind sustainability. Can you describe briefly what are the characteristics of the design, even though each one is different? Yes, uh, um, we designed uh, all the wineries, and each one is completely different to the other one. The first one is Mata Romera, is very well known. It's, it's a brand uh, who have a, a lot of uh, rices all over the world. And uh, I, I build in Mata Romera like an old uh, cave, like an old, like an old cellar that used to, to, to work in, in the area. It has into the earth, protected for, for the soil, and to avoid the, the changes of temperature. It's like the, like the uh, old uh, system do but with the new technologies and the new facilities uh, to, to, to do that. And the system also that the grades go down and they, they lose by gravity. And uh, for that uh, reason, we have um, uh, very, very low changes of temperature and, and natural control. Uh, the, the second more interest important is uh, Emina. Emina is, is completely different because it's close to the monastery of Valbuena. Uh, uh, here is is been building in, in the surface because uh, the the soil is was complicated by by the uh, water that they were. But in, in this case, <coughs> we make the first project integrated of uh, sustainability or one cellar in the world. We put in a uh, free system of solar energy, but also the walls was uh, isolation. And we use the, the light, the natural light, to, to go uh, to, to entry where it is possible. No? And after that, we have a, a, a biomass uh, uh, heating that is using all, all the, uh, the wood uh, for uh, the vineyard, the cabin, etc. So if I understand well, in your seven wineries, the Mata Romera, Emina, Emina Rueda, Val de los Frailes, Rento, Cian, Emina, Oxo, uh, you use advanced energy technology with the goal of using natural resources to produce energy and generate less of an environmental impact. See, exactly. In, in each one, uh, it, it's independent of the moment of the evolution. The first one was, uh, was projected 25 uh, uh, years ago. Uh, I use more the, the, the natural protection. I, I use the technology that were in that. For example, Mata Romera have also a an, an, uh, solar uh, heating system. And uh, other one, for example, Rento. Rento is a very, very old uh, building. It's from the 16th century. It's uh, uh, really our, our house, our family. It, it was 
built by, by the Marquis de Olivares, and they have a wall that's a one and a half meters to, to two meters, and the control is, is natural. Uh, other one, for example, in Val de los Aires, on the white wall, they have also two systems of solar energy and, and uh, heating uh, solar energy also. For example, Sayan is completely organic in this case. Sayan is from uh, total appellation de origin and uh, a very clean area, very fresh. Uh, they, they are, and it's excellent for natural condition of growth of the, of the vineyards. And we produce there Sayan ecological. Uh, is uh, economic and the uh, organic you told here in, in, in so so in 500 hectares of planted vines in the four appellations Mataromera produces organic wines and oil in 100 hectares in the denominations of origin Toro Rueda and Ribera del Duero oh, but but whether it is but by sustainable agriculture or organic all the wines are superb as i can attest from the tasting we had the other night can we talk about the wines yes please uh, we have a uh, present in in uh, four appellation de origin uh, one the first one is uh, rivera de duero rivera de duero i, I have uh, uh, mata romera that is very well known is a uh, a one who used in, in the wedding of the of the prince of spain the son of uh, juan carlos and it's uh, very intense, uh, with a nice color, um, very profound. The label is very, uh, very classical. We have Emina, the second winery, that is the E of the innovation, the E of uh, investigation that we use and you concentrate in Emina, especially in a new building. That the, the, the wine are uh, more modern, probably a little bit more fresh, or very fruity, oriented to the, to the people that we want to begin to know uh, great wines. And the third one is Rento. Rent is the, the little one. It's uh, only 14,000 bottles, and it's a top winery that reach the best prices also. The uh, composition is with the, uh, always a uh, new, new barrel, uh, only one type, uh, 18 months in barrel, and 18 months uh, after that in bottle, and it's very, very complex, uh, very fruity. You use seven different tonalities. It's very interesting. Uh, but the refiners, Val, Val Cigales, is in Appellation de Origin. Cigales is used to have uh, rosé wines, and they have a magnificent rosé wines uh, with the, the Verdejo variety and the Tempranillo variety, but also red wines in, in this Appellation with very old white wines. And Cyan, Cyan is uh, Toro. Toro is very well appreciated here in, in the United States. They know that this wine very intense, very structured. They use the grape uh, tinta de toro, is uh, like a granillo special in this area. The, the, the wine are pretty intense, uh, intense of color, profound. Uh, I have recommended to, to taste. And finally, Rueda. Rueda is uh, the, the Verdejo variety for uh, excellence. The, the, the queen of the varieties in Spain of grape wines is Verdejo. And the Verdejo in the Emina and Melio Verdejo have the, the, the well expression. We have uh, making an investigation uh, last four years in a European program about the control of the, of the climate, especially uh, the, the dedicated for the Verdejo variety, for the production of our Emina Verdejo and, and Medio Verdejo. And this is a, a wine very, very fresh, very fruity. Uh, they, they have a, a smell, a little bit of apple, uh, a green apple also, exotic fruit, flavor, uh, a little controlled acidity. Uh, is uh, excellent wines and are, are very affordable. Even though they come from different appellations, these wines have one thing in common. They are very well balanced each in their own uh, typology. Uh, they're very elegant, very drinkable, and this is something that uh, we could call a style. But uh, uh, you also have a finger in, in every industry, restaurants, oil presses, a museum, a distillery, and you have over 30 projects on your way, but we won't talk about all of them. Nevertheless, briefly tell us about the energy production system uh, based on the winemaking byproducts like the uh, air conditioning, uh, uh, the solar energy, waste management, 
uh, etc. Yes, um, uh, we have uh, um, a 30 projects of R&D at the moment, and we have a, a big uh, project dedicated to sustainability, Matarromeda, sustainable, sustainable in the in planet Earth. In this uh, project, uh, one of them is the uh, water control, uh, is the, the, the footprint of the, the water. Another is the, the, food, the carbon footprint, that we are the, the first company in, in, in Spain, in one of the Europe, that calculated the carbon footprint in the Mina Verdejo and uh, in the Mina um, Crianza of uh, Rivera Duero, uh, also Mata Romera. Well, uh, apart from that, in, in the part of energy, we have uh, two, two ideas. First of all, uh, control for uh, non waste energy, for uh, all the wars, all the protection, etc. And also for using uh, the, the natural light, uh, uh, light as much as possible in, in, a, in a company like um, uh, with sellers. In some part is not possible to go uh, into the, the lights, for example, yeah. uh, the, the bottles. Uh, and um, in, in, we can also to produce energy with the nature uh, to uh, um, reduce uh, the, the effect. And we produce by the system of uh, uh, solar uh, heating energy with two systems, one in Mata Romera, another one in Valdezfaire. We have five modules of solar energy that we produce uh, electricity to use immediately in our, in our wineries and to avoid all the loss that we have in the transport of energy. We have five, one in Valderos Files, another one in Emina Verdejo, in, in the roof, in the top of the, the, the roof, and three That's... in Emina Rivera de Duero. I have seen pictures. It really is very impressive. But in recent years, you also created a company, Abro Biotech Company, devoted to biotechnology applied to food industry. Yes, uh, it's uh, because we, we uh, discovered that there are a, a lot of uh, organic components in mines, in vinegars, also in olive oil, and uh, you know, uh, the publication in, in this investigation here in the United States, that resveratrol and the rest of polyphenols are very, very convenient for the health of the people. You know, I, I also had the pleasure of meeting your lovely wife, who is at the head of the Esdor cosmetic product company, and she told me that you make use of the polyphenols in grape skins to create natural beauty creams and pharmaceutical products. Can you explain? Yes, yes, exactly. This company extracts the polyphenols and making a, a new method. And we, the eminol, eminol is a, a, a several polyphenols that join, make uh, the best uh, antioxidant effects. This is uh, eminol, and we use to, to uh, make a cosmetic of or high-end uh, level and functional level, including all the best component of uh, top cosmetic, but also the uh, eminol. And uh, we decided to create a, a new company, uh, Store Cosmetics, to uh, investigate, to develop, to produce, and to commercialize all over the world. And it's here also in the United States, Store, using these organic components, natural components of the grapes. All this coming from the grape, it's extraordinary. Carlos Moro, you are a dreamer, a visionary, but 